Hey guys, Almost Addicted here, and today I am going to show you how to build this easy, stylish medieval house. Now, uh, Chantel got me on Twitter, and a few others of you have been asking, where's all the medieval builds gone? Almost Addicted. Uh, you haven't built one in absolutely ages. So today I'm going to change that, and I'm going to show you how to build this epic medieval house, as you can see. Look at it all the way around. Oh my God. Goodness, this is so good. I've made sure I've used survival friendly materials like the oak and the spruce and a little bit of white wool and redstone uh, lamps, I guess. So without further ado, let's build this awesome, tiny, easy, did I say easy, easy medieval house? Let's do this. Okay, so it's roughly gonna fit in a 12 times 12 radius quite easily actually. Uh, so we're going to start off like this, right? We're going to have two oak up like that. We're going to have a three gap there and then another two oak. And then we're going to go one, two, one, two diagonal. And then we do another one diagonal with a three gap, one, two, and then one, two, one, two, and then another one. So we've got the three gaps. It should all level up. I'll go up in the air so you can kind of see it. Diagonal one, one, two, and then another one, three gaps, one, two, one, two, one, two. So up in the air, it should look like that. It should have something a lot like that. Now first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our oak stairs. So get your oak stairs ready. And we're going to need some oak planks. So what we're gonna do on each side like this, we're gonna go like this all the way around. And then we're gonna fill the rest of it in with the oak blocks. Okay, we've got our platform nice and ready. Now what we're gonna do in this far corner here. So what we're gonna do is this is at the back. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna have a three gaps here and then one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna come all the way to the front. One, two, three, four. So we're just having, from this first one, we should have a one gap there as you can see. In fact, we won't do it. Now we will do it. One, two, three. One, two, three, four like this so we can start on the roof but i've got another bit here it goes up one two three four one two three four and this one goes up from that fourth one we're going to go up an extra one two just like that one two so we should have that that's on the right hand side so now we are going to get a spruce we're going to get this spruce stairs and the spruce block we're also going to get some oak wood stairs and some oak wood blocks so we can start to do this roof so this is on the left hand side we're going to count one past it and this is going to go all the way along here like this and then at this side it's just going to pop out by two like that this one one two now we go up to the next layer we're just going to put two there in fact one there sorry one there and then we're going to put a stair on top like this and then we're going to do the same again so one stair up diagonal and then we've got one more and then we're going to have our stair facing out like that now we're going to do exactly the same on this side here for the top one stair facing out that way so we should have something like this now we can start to do this back area here so wherever there's blocks we're basically going to go across with the oak and then this top one could be an oak as well and then we're going to get our stairs like this going all the way across and for this one as well going all the way across now what we're going to do on this right hand side we are going to grab our log we're going to face it out like that and then we're going to place one two one two of these and then we're just basically going to go up like this and we put a stair in between and then up up and then this very top one, what we're going to do, we're going to have a log going all the way through. So it pops out to that point. And then we're going to have a stair facing out like this. And then we can get on to using our, um, I forgot what it's called, actually. Spruce planks. Now this one's a bit higher because I wanted to put a little bit more room in it, which ah, I guess that's okay. Uh, but what we're going to do now, we're going to get our stone, stone bricks. Okay, so the stone bricks, one, two, three, and we're going to go across like this and we've got a nice little doorway there. Now what we can do is actually put another layer for that one. Now across the front, we're going to do exactly the same. And then across here, we're going to go all the way across here 
all the way across the bottom and we're gonna actually leave a two gap just there like that. So that's on the right hand side and this one exactly the same so we're going up and around like that. Perfect. Now for these bits we're gonna get some log at the front across this bit as well. If you would like you can put it across this bit if you want to save on stone. Stone or log depending on what you prefer. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna finish this roof off. So we're gonna use our oak stairs. This is gonna go up to here and it's gonna be brought around there. Same at this side, one, two, three, and we bring it round to join into there. Now underneath here, we're gonna have this joining onto here. So we go under and we bring it over and it should stop there. It's stop at this point, sorry. And this is where we're gonna bring this, but it's gonna be the oak and just put them underneath there. And then we can finish this off with maybe something like that, just joining the side. So we can put one in here like that, bring another one, two across here, and then this bit on the inside, you can fill it in. You can actually fill it in on the inside, just like that. So as you can see on the inside, we've got something a little bit like this. For this bit here, let me have a little quick look. Yeah, that's supposed to be oak, you get the point. Like that. So it should look exactly the same. So now we're going to work on this little bit at the front. The front we're going to have two here, like that. And we're going to go all the way around to the back. And we're going to do exactly the same. So one, two. And then we're going to have a log going all the way through. Now you don't have to put it all the way through. Just so it's got that poking through. So you can save on resources if you would like. Now we're going to get our white wool. So we get our white wool out. We're going to put one at the top, one at the bottom. We're going to go all the way around here. We're going to do the same at the back, one at the top, one at the bottom. And then same for here, we're going to put one, two, three, and we go up and around like this. Now, as you can see, I've got some windows and I've put it in there. Um, but on top of here, what I'm thinking, right, one, two, three, I'm wanting to actually add some extras on actually. So we're going to go like this, one, two, three, and then curl it in like we have done with the rest. Now these side panels at the bottom, we're gonna place a block in each one of these, not in that middle one, just next to this log here. Next to all the side logs going all the way through. And then what we can do is we can get our stairs of the stone brick, and then we can put them on top of them, going all the way around, like that. And I'll show you why I left this little bit here, because what I wanted to do, just to add some extra to it, we'll get some trap doors. I just think this will look way better than the one we've already got. But if you want the one we've already got, all you have to do is take the roof down a bit or just whatever, whatever you want. But I think this way we can actually add some plants and stuff and some flowers. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, look at that. Does that look much better than that? I think it does, definitely. Um, so yeah, a little extra in the tutorial for you. And then we're gonna put these up like this with the oak, one, two, one, two, going all the way around. And then for this one, we're gonna get some of the slab of the spruce. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then this is going all the way across the top here. And then I'm just gonna place one there in that corner, just supporting it. One, two, one, two. Now across these top bits, as you can see, I've got this. It's kind of funky. At the back, I did it um, a little bit different. I just put the one on there, but if you would like, you can kind of change it around. Uh, but yeah, we'll put these under first, and then we've got a good foundation then. Okay, so underneath each stair. So it just kind of curves it, makes it look a little bit nicer, I guess. Right, for this bit, we're putting a stair facing like that, a stair facing like that. And then we're gonna have one there, so we can change it. One there, so we can change it like that. So it kind of curls in like that. And then what we can do is we can get the slabs, slab across the bottom, slab across the top, and it just makes quite a nice design. And um, what I've done for here, you can either put it here, in fact, we'll put it there actually. That one keeps there, that one's two out because I'm gonna have like that there. You can have it from there actually. And then we're gonna have a red stone lamp. So it's, you can change it about and stuff. I tend to like um, take think blocks out and change them about. Um, it's not it's not a science to this, like you can do it any way you want. So if you guys who want to adapt my builds, um, I kind of like it when you do that and you send them over on Twitter and be like, oh, I like this bit. I didn't like this bit. Look how I've adapted it. I just think it's quite cool. 
I don't get all shirty about it. I'm like, oh, no, my design, like some people. I'm like, oh, you saddos. No, at the end of the day, Minecraft's a creative, creative thing, and you know, everybody has their own preference, don't they? It's always a good thing. So I'm going to put some buttons around that little area there, and um, across here, you can maybe extend that a little bit more and have. Um, I'll just put two buttons at the side of that one. Looks looking nice. Uh, this one, yeah. So. I'm gonna go like this. We'll change it around like that. And then this top bit, we could maybe add another one at the back. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do that. Why not? YOLO. And then we can add another one there so we can add some more flowers in. Exciting. And then we can. Hmm, let's see what else we could add. Obviously, we're gonna have some bushes. Get some bushes on the way around. One, two, three. Across there. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I would use the spruce door for this, so separate. That's not how you spell spruce. Um, spruce door there. Perfect. So we get our little spruce door on that one. Don't need it on that one. That one. That one. And yeah, let's get the plant pots out. I'm kind of, um, I don't know. I like to keep it kind of plain with the, the normal ferns. But I'm going to add some flowers. I'm going to do it, man. Why am I doing this to myself? Right. Two red ones. Another two red ones. And then for these little bits, like for... Um, I know you could have them here or something. Ho, ho, ho. That's looking nice. Looking real pretty. I didn't put this on the thumbnail because, I don't know, people are getting extra treat this way. They're like, oh, it's even got extras on this. So people who actually watch the video get get more. So I don't know. I don't know the logic behind that. Um, there's not really any logic, to be honest. Um, just kind of making this stuff up since it pops out of my head. <laughs> right, so for the inside, <clears throat> let's see. What am I going to do? Um, let's wing it. Right, I'm just going to put this across here, and then that's kind of nasty. So I'm going to put that there and that there. So it kind of, it's got a nice shape. I'm going to put one at the top as well. Maybe one um, stair like that, and then because we've done that, I can put this going across here, and it kind of looks like supports. Yes, thank goodness it worked. Um, this going across here now, I'm putting it all plain because we can kind of look from the bottom where would be the best place. Because I'm actually going to have a roof, um, I kind of left the chimney out because. You can do this, right? So you can decide where, which side you want your chimney. If you want a one chimney, I would take it out from there. If you want a two chimney, take it out from here. So we bring it all the way down. I'm not going to do it fully down because I'm actually going to make use of the furnace like it comes through there. What we can do as well, we could get some cobblestone and um, so that connects up to there. But the top half out the back here and um, kind of connects up here. Now I'm going to put it up to, I think I put it up to this point here, so it's one past there, and then we're going to get our stairs like this, so put one placement block there, and then a stair facing out, and we can face another one like that, and what I did is got an anvil, and I stuck it on top like this, one, two, boom, that looks so much better than the original, definitely, I mean, what do you think? I don't know, there's just less to it on this one. But this one, I just feel like it's quite, it's magical. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say that, right? Okay, uh, this is gonna go, no, it's not gonna go up there. We need, need a placement where we don't affect the window. Yeah, like here. So we can get a ladder going up from this point here. We don't have to put an extra block there. We can just actually get it up that way. So we can get up onto this bit. This bit up here, I'm going to use it for our bedroom. So get a bedroom. I'm going to put a bed there. I'm going to put like a little kind of, um, I want a bookshelf maybe. Book. Get a bookshelf. It's quite a small space this, so you've got to work with um, maybe some more books like that. And then um, up here, maybe I'm going to have another anvil just because I'm like that, you know. Anvil, bush, 
can still get past that bit and then we can just add like a little carpet or something well I'll just change the time so it's we can get some light through here I'm gonna need a torch as well so I can put two torches on the side here um, medieval times that had a lot of red carpets and stuff like that so you could have like I don't know something like this and um, if you would like you could have um, a chest I don't know if you could still open it from the top here no um, let me see yes we can take it out there put that under there and then we've got like a nice cool chest that is awesome and then here we're going to have a crafting table it's got to be done crafting table at the side we can have another chest at the side here I want in a little kind of brewing place here so that there we can get our brewing stand I'm doing this so it's kind of survival um, but people can build it in creative as well have those there and then maybe um, I don't know it's kind of small but why not I'm going to do this, put this at the side, and then we can get our nether wart. So I'm going to get some glowstone as well. Uh, if you don't want to use the glowstone, you're still in survival. You haven't actually buried all the way down to get this sort of stuff. You don't have to do that. That there, and we shall get the nether wart. Nether. I'm going full out with this one because I want it to look pretty and uh, usable, I guess. <laughs> That's not never what's. Okay, we've got that. Of course, we're gonna have our torches in here, and then we can add some other stuff. Like you can have, I don't know, these, and you can have some flowers in here. And um, what else? Ender chest, I guess. Um, there's there's so many other things that you can kind of add in. I mean, you can always add your ender chest at the top of here, like that. It's nice, and then. I'm thinking something like I'm taking a lot longer than I expected I'm gonna put it on top of the crafting table you have to crouch down crouch down and then put it on just makes it look nice and then we can just get our red carpet in here and finish it off one two I don't know maybe a four there boom I kind of like that I kind of like that a lot so we've got a nicer, this is probably the most compact, nicest little um, medieval house I've done in, in quite a while. So there you go guys, I really hope you enjoy. If you really do like these medieval houses, make sure you slap that like button and comment down below what you like about it. And uh, yeah, I will definitely, most definitely do plenty more of these, but I will put some more bigger medieval houses that I've done in the past, uh, just in case you've just come across my channel, because I've done some pretty big ones so yeah without further ado slap that like button see you later guys i really do appreciate all the support that you guys have given me and um hopefully my uh thousand subscriber plaque is coming very very soon uh, but youtube's taking ages so anyway catch you later peace